Hi, welcome back to my channel on couching. Today I'm gonna make slow cooker apple crisp. So we're gonna start out, I've peeled, sliced, and cored about seven apples. Um, you can use any kind of apples that you want. I'm using, I think, Red Delicious because that's what I had on hand. So let me grab my slow cooker. So I've got my slow cooker here and I have, uh, I've got it sprayed. I sprayed it with cooking spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my apples. I'm gonna uh, sprinkle it with about a quarter teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of lemon juice. One tablespoon of flour. Third of a cup of brown sugar. And a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, I'm gonna give this a stir. Okay, now for the topping. Um, so three quarters cup of oats, three quarters cup of all-purpose flour, a third of a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of um, <clears throat> chopped pecans, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, <clears throat> one stick of butter, which equals eight tablespoons of butter at room temperature, and I've cut them up into cubes. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm using a, an actual nutmeg, but you can just get the dried kind. Okay, I'm gonna cut this up with my pastry cutter until it resembles coarse crumbs. Okay, so got my apples in here. I'm gonna take my topping and spread it out over the top evenly. I'm gonna kind of smash it down, press it in there. Now, I'm gonna grab a fresh kitchen towel, lay it over the top. I'm gonna place it in my slow cooker for 90 minutes on high or you can put it on low for two to three hours. And then you take the top off and the dish towel off and you leave it uncovered for another hour or until your topping is browned. 